Annie Kleefelf. I am the program coordinator and interim supervisor for the Elkhart Environmental Center. So we are trying to burn this prairie as a management technique. Naturally, prairies would burn on their own if they weren't suppressed or managed by people. So we don't want our prairie to burn just any old time of the year. We have a lot of houses around us. We have a lot of other habitats in the area that are not adapted to burning. So we're trying to um, initiate those sort of natural conditions in a way that's safe and also helps with the management of the ecosystems that we're focusing on. So a prairie burn is really good for prairies because what it does is just revitalize the soil and help keep invasive plants out. So our prairie hasn't been burned in a long time and right now it has a lot of plants in there that aren't supposed to be growing. And what would happen if we just left those um, plants to grow and didn't try to burn the prairie anytime soon would be that they just take over and we wouldn't really have any native species there and that would really impact our wildlife population. Um, as a fire department, we were asked to be out here as a, like a supplemental safety precaution. Um, we've got a mixture of, of training that helps in the event that these things occur naturally. Um, what they were trying to do is mimic mother nature. So. Um, much like when we see in California, Oregon, Utah, when you get the dry climates, it dries out the vegetation and it doesn't take very much to start these wildfires. And so with improper management, forested areas can get overgrown and then all it takes is a lightning strike or a you know, person that carelessly discarded a smoking materials or um, didn't properly put out a fire and you actually get one of these occur um, essentially naturally. Um, we were trained to do the opposite here which is utilize the same principles to enrich the soil. We we're out here today for the safety of the personnel. Um, well we just gotta make sure everybody's in place that they need to be. Uh, nobody is not standing in the fires where we're doing any backburns. Uh, everybody's wearing their appropriate personal protective equipment and uh, that nobody gets hurt and the fire does not get out of control on us. This is actually a pretty early time to be burning. We've been working with the DNR to set up a burn for this prairie for about two years now. And um, when working with them, they've got some parameters that they want us to keep in mind to help protect the wildlife that use the prairie throughout the year. So um, we're not supposed to burn in the summer months because you've got your nesting season and you're young and animals are really using the prairie um, quite actively. So you want to avoid burning in those times also because it's um, not great conditions for the fire. There's usually like higher winds and higher temperatures and things like that. Um, so all around they're trying to push us towards like early spring or late fall. So we're at the end of September right now, which is probably about the earliest time that we would want to try to burn. But unfortunately our prairie is just too wet and green to burn today. We've got the dew in the morning, which kind of added an extra layer of water. Uh, but we have a lot of invasives in our prairie that are really green and um, really kind of hamper any efforts that we made today to try and burn the prairie. The majority of the problem is just uh, Indiana to be honest with you. It's a very uh, wet environment um, so it takes many years you know for things to dry out. Um, the soil content out here is uh, high in clay and so what that does is absorb, absorb a lot of moisture so even when we do get those dry spells out here it still is uh, allowed to you know feed that water into the plants so without that getting cut off then they're not going to dry out and and it won't light so. thanks for watching